Hello everybody, welcome back to Mercury Farms with me, Golf Cart Jockey. Boy, we have been away for a while. We went to help our buddy Tiny over on Grizzly Mountain and some things happened. We ended up staying longer than we thought and kind of bought some land and been cutting some trees down over there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways, we're back now. Uh, I've missed quite a bit of work. We're trying to catch up here so our buddy Adrian across the street there doesn't fire us. And, uh... Give all our money to that farmer Ben fellow. We don't want to do that. So, figure we better get back over here and get to work. The cotton contract that we had to do for Adrian is done. I just finished that, and I have to. Oops, swinging a little hard there. I have to. Um, I've already unloaded the cotton bale. I just have to put it on the trailer that they let me borrow with the 6135 John Deere pretty nice little rig they give us there and I need to um, take it back to the shop and return it so uh, well obviously we'll drop the bale off at the spinnery first and then take the um, then take the equipment back so we'll snatch that right off of there didn't he first we are we we'll get our buddy Patrick to help us out again I'm going to cut the headlands. All our fields are ready to harvest too. So while I am messing with the... I don't know why I turned that on right there. While I am messing with the cotton and um, returning all the equipment and, you know, making sure we get paid and all that goody-goody stuff. Oh, I still got a hopper full of oats. What is wrong with me? Alright, well, this one is not quite ready to use yet. Let me find a tipper to empty this thing into. And i tell you what. We're already here. Let's just drive over to a silo. See if we can unload it there. It might work. Hey, it did work. Perfect. I can't believe we had left this thing parked in there that long with... 6,000 liters of oats in there. I don't know what I was thinking. Man, I must have been in a hurry to get up to Grizzly Mountain and cut some trees down. Play a little Paul Bunyan. Oh, and I did... I found a note blowing around the field when I got back. This four-wheeler apparently is mine. Uh, or mine to use from Adrian and Farmer Ben. So, very cool. They let me use it and... Uh, I think he said he upgraded to something a little different so I can use this one. Nobody was using that one. I'm going to use it to zip around a uh, quick way to get back and forth. So, very cool. I like it. I was wondering why that thing was here. At least it has a reason. Uh, he didn't just forget it, I suppose. That would be kind of awkward. Let's see if this works a little better. If we can get us, uh, get us a headland cut in here. I'm going to get a little straw we spit up. Perfect. Looking good. Man, this is a smooth running machine right here. I, I really do like this harvester. Um, now that Kloss has been confirmed for Farmers Inn, maybe we'll see one on the console mod hub one day. This is a good looking ride. So, anyways, uh, yeah, we've been busy. We have been chopping trees and bought us a sheep pen over there on Grizzly Mountain, so... We have sheep here, we have sheep over there. We're going to run a little wool emporium. See if we can corner the market. That's our plan. Here at Jockey Inc. We are going to uh, see if we can yeah, conquer the market. So, that's what we're going to do. We have the sheep here are well cared for. And I see that we're already starting to spawn some wool pallets. So, they'll be taken care of today. It's just after lunchtime, just after noon. And we have been gone for a while. Uh, I've learned that our contracts have not been getting fulfilled, but we weren't gone but just a few days, so nobody's really run out yet and really mad at us yet. So we, we do need to jump on some contracts this afternoon and make us some money. So I'm going to... I have the uh, fuel truck filling now, or just had it filled. It's full now. It's sitting there waiting. So uh, once I get this going and get the cotton back over there, it's a good-looking cotton bale, isn't it? I just dumped it off right there. We'll have to get it loaded and uh, get get all the equipment back. 
But after I do that, and while Patrick is doing this field, this field's going to take him a while. This is a big one. Um, while he is doing all of that, uh, what was it he was going to do? Yeah, he's going to do something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, I really don't remember what I said he was going to do. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. I got all excited about that cotton bale over there. Oh, uh, hauling the, the fuel. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, we will we'll get, take care of that when we get back from doing the cotton work. So, yeah, I was thinking about how big this field was. I said that it would take Patrick a while to do this one. I believe that. That is... We don't have the biggest header, but at the same time, we're not doing... I mean, it's really the biggest field we got. There's only two others besides this one, so once you get done with this one, you know, the majority of your work is done field-wise, so... We'll just kind of tough it out with this one. We'll just grind it out and save what money we would use to upgrade it and uh, spend it elsewhere, so... Uh, 167 in the bank if we can get to well I know we will get to 200 once I start hauling fuel and such so when we do get to 200 uh, thousand I will make another bank payment and put us down we owe a lot I know that and uh, we owe 500,000 okay so that'll set us back to 400,000 not bad. We don't know as much as I thought. That's not too bad at all. We can get out from under that load fairly easily. Look forward to it. We'll get that paid off and then we will uh, we'll start expanding this thing. Start stretching out. See if we can start buying some fields before uh, Adrian and Farmer Ben snatch them all up across the road over there. I mean, I painted myself into a corner over here. Other than that cotton field right there beside us. And two fields over there that are still up for grabs. Uh, two fields over there in front of me, I should say. Um, yeah, not a lot on this side of the road, so. That's alright. No big deal. I really want those trees over there. I don't know why, but the, the long skinny fields, I really want those. I wish they weren't $400,000. There's just something cool about them. It's intriguing. But anyways. Alright, I think I'm about done here. I've seen Patrick just pull up, so I will get this thing turned around. Go talk to him, get him off and running here. Make sure, yeah, he's fueled up. I'll go ahead and bring a tipper around, too, so that he'll have something to empty into, should he need it while we are away. Uh, see, we got, that'll be one, one lap right there. And eh, 3,500 liters or so when we're done. So... He's probably going to be alright before we get back, but we'll bring one over just in case. We'll get him emptied off before he starts. Uh, always nice to start your shift on a on a fresh note. Let's see, we'll snatch this. Alright. Well. Let me go. Oops. Stop it. Rolling down the hill here. Kicked it in neutral accidentally. Perfect. Alright, let me go find Mr. Patrick. And I will, yeah, find a tipper to bring over for him. And we will start getting some cotton out of here. I'll be right back. Alright. Well. They say they let you borrow a used machine. Man, that thing looks brand new, doesn't it? There's almost 50 hours on it. Pretty impressive. That's a good looking loner unit there. Anyways, let's take this thing, get rid of it. Get rid of all this equipment. And I was just talking to Miss Stephanie, who owns the field that we did the contract for. And I think we've agreed upon a price. I said if I got to over 200000 today, I was going to make a $100,000 payment to the bank. And. I think if I can get over 225, I am going to buy this field as well. So 
it makes sense. I mean, why would we not? It's we own the other two, actually three right here around it. We've combined them into two, but yeah, why wouldn't we buy this field? So yeah, I think we come to an agreement. We're gonna go make sure we can come up with the funding for that and get to work on that front. But uh, yeah, this is looking good. I I'm liking it. There's nothing more fun than buying a new field. So we'll have to go plow that get it fertilized, you know, all that stuff so that it is ready and on the same schedule as the other three fields, so there you go that's the plane, first we gotta run this over and see if we can make any money, I'm surprised at how much, how big a bale this was off that one little field it was I think eight or nine thousand liters of cotton, I mean it was, it was almost half a bale very very good Another good looking cotton field right there. We already have a harvester. We should just run over and cut it down for them, shouldn't we? And just fields ready to harvest everywhere. We may uh, go see if Adrian and old Dr. Ben there need, uh, need some help. Maybe we can help those guys do some harvesting contracts. I'm sure they're up to their eyeballs in contracts around here. I mean, it looks like every single field is ready. It is harvest season here at Mercury Farms. Uh oh. Looks like he's got a full hopper up there. Needs to go empty that thing out. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I was running my mouth and drove right past the spinnery. And to come up here and be nosy, didn't I? I was worried about his work over there and what he needed to do. Let's take this thing back. You know what we ought to do? He does have a truck over there. We ought to run over and grab that truck and empty that hopper out for him. I think he's got a worker going there. His uh, little employee must not know how to back out of there and get to a hopper to empty it. So maybe we can go help him out. Where are you supposed to take these things? Oh, right here in the front. Yeah unload perfect contract on field 56 finished oops uh, that would be failed and failed complete what do I have in there he just didn't get them done huh there was anything near us uh, 50 maybe Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-nine, sixty. Let's check and see where those are. Uh, fifty-nine right there. Sixty must be up there. Yes, fifty-one is there. Yeah, not near us. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oops. All right. So contract's done. Looks like they took my ride, doesn't it? Let me go... Let's go sneak over here and see if we can help old... Dr. What's his name? I forget that guy's name. He's our guy. Let's see here. Uh, Zill. I got the key. Oh yeah, there's the keys. I don't think the fire's right up. Let's see here. Wonder if he's around. Adrian had me put a GPS tracker on him. Don't say anything to him, so. I'm gonna kick this guy out of there. Hey, excuse me, buddy. Let me take over. See how far we can get. He's he's gonna come back and this guy's gonna be over halfway across the field and he's gonna be like, what in the world happened here? This truck's gonna be full. <laughs> He'll never know what happened. This old eighty 
what is it, 8820? Yeah, this is a nice one. I see why he was so excited about this thing now, man. He just kept on talking about this harvester. See why now, this thing is cool. Not quite a machine he's got here. See how many of these we can fill up. We will. Let's see, I guess it, yeah, it was just parked up there in the corner, right? I forgot where I got it from. Need to hurry up. I'm gonna get busted. I don't see him anywhere around here, but I feel like he's just right up there at the house or something. Alright. Let's see, we'll put that bag in. See if we can get lined up where we were. Find his worker around here. We'll have to introduce ourselves. I just kind of. Uh oh. Still not owned. Dang. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not a contractor? Oh man, I got busted. So I can actually harvest it myself. Man, this thing is nice. <laughs> it's quite a machine. Huh. Won't let me do it though. Oh man. Well, now we gotta go tell on ourselves. I guess the worker just ran off. Now there's nobody here to do the work. Uh huh. That was neat. I fired it up and it didn't start. I had to start it again. Alright, let's see here. Get this thing back up out of the way. And. Oh, there he is. He's at the farm. Alright. Cut this off. We gotta go. We'll just run and pretend like nothing ever happened. We don't know anything to happen. We don't know nothing and he can't prove it. Let's hide back here. Easy up there. I don't see him. I heard him up there. I know he's up there. Yeah, we'll just run off and pretend like we don't have any idea what happened there. No clue. Alright, well, let me run back and grab the fuel tanker that our buddy Adrian give us and we're going to start delivering some fuel and some water see if we can make some money this afternoon we have big plans for money we haven't even earned yet so spending money we don't have we better get to work I'll be right back Whew. man that's a longer run than you would think look at this yard well both in both senses the actual grass does need to be mowed looks terrible but uh, the parking lot here there's just stuff everywhere it is a disaster trucks and trucks and spreaders and cedars and lime spreaders oh my I mean we're gonna have to do something about this so uh, I guess the first thing we can do is get this thing out of here right if I can jump in here, man. How did I get over there? There we go. Fire it up. Uh, let's see, we pulled the hose out already. We gotta close the latch. Close it, yep, latched up. Alright. Let's go make some money. Hopefully, we can make some big money. What did I say? I needed 225. Excellent. I think we can do that fairly easily. There's Mr. Patrick. Just don't worry about that line there, Patrick. Uh, we'll come back and get that, buddy. <laughs> yes, he just didn't. Well, I guess some more he just didn't want to do. Maybe that stuff wasn't ready yet. Maybe he wasn't ready to harvest it yet. This thing really handles good when it's full of fuel. I should just kind of leave it like this. This thing will go. What a great little truck. I really do like it. I'm thinking about changing the colors, though. Not that I don't like them, but... Something a little more jockey ink appropriate, I think. Oh, 
Oh, all over the road here. I never can remember if I have to open the hatch before I empty or not. I don't think so. Let's try it without. Perfect. There we go. Hit the valve there and start making that money. I wonder if there's anywhere else on the map that buys fuel. You can buy from the store. I don't know. Oh, fifty-four thousand dollars! Goodness, you can tell they were running low, buddy. They were happy to see us. We've been here in a few days. We are making serious money. That's good news. So uh, that puts us at two twenty-three. I'm gonna go ahead and refill the fuel tank so it's ready for next time, which will put us to two thirteen. Uh, when we fill it, our house it is exactly ten thousand dollars to fill this thing. So. $213,000 is what we will have before we start hauling water. We are gonna, we're gonna make a bunch of people happy on this day. We're gonna make our banker happy, our realtor happy, ourselves happy. Got a lot going on. Future home of Jockey Inc. indeed. Hello, sheepies. Oh, I said I was gonna go ahead and fill this. Need to park it out of the way so that the other stuff can be moved because I'm gonna go get that fence over there. And let's see, oh, oops. Open the hatch before I forget. I always forget when I try to fill this thing up and never can get it to fill. So let's see, we'll leave this right here. No, uh, right there, yes. Okay, we'll shut this down. Leave it right there. Yeah, let's go move some equipment around. Let's clean this place up. And drop that right there. I think this will work. Keep making money at this rate. We'll be able to upgrade our fent here. Get us a big boy tractor. Something that can haul this or pull the mower and the loading wagon at the same time. Let's see, where can we put the lime spreader? Oh, there's a stump we need to come back and grind, too. Gotta get that out of here. Hey, look, there's a stump grinder. What do you know? I think when we buy the Field 56, I don't think it said it needed to be limed or plowed. I probably could just go fertilize that and... Well, there's really no need because the other fields aren't ready to be planted, so. Uh, if I have to fertilize, cultivate and fertilize the other three fields around here, I may as well do the same for the one we just bought. So I guess I guess it doesn't really make sense to go do that. We'll, we'll just hold off on that for now. Let's see if we can start getting some of this machinery cleaned up, though. Look how dirty this thing is. Oh, wait. Pressure washer's right here. I forgot I bought one. It's been a while since I've been here. Let's see here. We get the cord to reach over there for the hose. No problem. Not a problem at all. Go ahead and give this one a bath since we can reach it. Oh, the hose restricts us. I think it was just enough, though. Try not to get any water down in the tank. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? Let's see. Everybody else clean, clean. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Perfect. We'll be able to work around here in a little bit. You would think this would be a operational farm by the way we're going to make it look. We need some more storage. That's what we need. I am out of shed space. Too much equipment. Good problem to have. Right there. Perfect. 
Let's see, what else was back here? Fertilizer spreader. I could probably just, yeah, the cover's closed on that. I think I'll just push it over in front of the little sheds over here where the fertilizer is kept. Ooh, not the right one. So yeah, it's already closed. i tell you what I'm going to do, too. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Maybe? No. Oh. Try that. Yeah, you gotta have the lid open. Look how fast that thing fills up. Perfect. I'll even lower it so we don't damage anything. Oops. There we go. Drop that off. How's our worker doing? Uh oh, he is stuck. Gotta go help Mr. Patrick. Alright. Well, I think he's stuck on the wrong side too, so I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering. What did I just hook up to? Nothing. I'm just gonna put this in there a little bit straighter than it was, so we can put it all the way back. And let's see, drop the mower. I don't need to drop them over. I'm gonna get ready to use this actually. I need the semi to drop. That's what I need. So I can grab the. Gosh, I keep doing that. Okay. So I need to go get the semi, hook it up to the tipper there, and go get Patrick emptied so he can continue on with our soybean harvest. Um, yeah. I'll be right back. All right, watch out, little duck. Don't do that. Oh, 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 he did it. Oh, boy. Oh, he's going right through there. Them magic ducks around here. They're out of this world, I tell you. <laughs> so, no, nope, wait, we're full. I'm just sitting here looking at myself. Let's go sell this. Let's make our own path, see if we can scare off the pedestrians. Swing around, perfect. Yeah, it'll work, we'll just cut through the field. Yeah, we'll just do this however we want to do it, right? It's all about us. So, uh, what we did is we spent all our money. Yes, like we said we were going to do. It was almost as satisfying as we thought it would be. So that's good. We, uh, we bought field 56 the cotton field that we just harvested bought that that is ours we need to get it plowed and fertilized now uh, go ahead and start working on that while Patrick is doing the rest of the harvesting uh, speaking of which he finished the field across the street there um, I always forget what number that is 57 58 he finished 57 and 58 and is getting ready to move on over to 54 uh, trying to drive in there without jackknifing. Jackknifing, that didn't work, did it? A little a long wheelbase on this truck, a little short trailer. With three axles that turn. This thing is not, not my friend. There we go, we got it that time. Alright, so anyways, yeah, we're selling, uh, selling water. We've sold all our fuel, sorry. And this is, this will be our third sell. We got 12,000 and 13,000 respectively so far for the greenhouses. We'll see what we get for this one. Um, but yeah, we've made a $100,000 payment to the bank. We bought a field. And we've done some harvesting, so quite a productive day. Quite a productive day. I think that means it's time for us to go on break and take the rest of the afternoon off. Especially if this money keeps going up like this. This seems like a very profitable uh, greenhouse right here. What was that when I started? Maybe they'll tell us when we're done, but I wasn't paying attention. I probably should have looked, huh? Anyways. So, yeah, after this thing sells, I think we'll call it an episode here. We've got enough accomplished today. We will uh, come back and try it again. That's all we can do.
15,301. All right. Perfect. Forgot to close my flap there. All right, guys. I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.